those steps, stairs, for the first time, beautifully dressed in My Fair Lady. Last time the audience saw you, you were grimy and couldn't speak properly. And around the staircase I come, in this absolutely sublime white ball dress, where all I had to do was walk down the stairs. The dress sort of made me do it. Do little, you look beautiful. Thank you, Colonel Pickering. Don't you think so, Higgins? Not bad. Not bad at all. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night and still have been. Spread my wings and done a thousand things I've never done before. I never know what made it so exciting. Why all at once my heart took sight. I only know when he. Began to dance with me. I could have danced, danced, danced. Oh, thank you. Do we know each other? Why do you think we're going to? I don't know. How would I know? Because I already know an awful lot of people, and until one of them dies, I couldn't possibly meet anyone else. Hmm. Well, if anyone goes on the critical list, let me know. Mm, quitter. Uh-huh. You give up awfully easily, don't you? Gary Grant and Audrey Hepburn, two people who will never be bettered on the screen and uh, who seem to be the epitome of, uh, of beauty and handsomeness and culture. That's, that's a lovely souvenir in my life. Uh, unlike some people might think, he was really a very reserved, very sensitive, very quiet person. Here you are. Where? On the street where you live. How about once more around the park? How about getting out of here? Come on, child, out. Won't you come in for a minute? No, I won't. I don't bite, you know, unless it's called for. How would you like a spanking? How would you like a punch in the nose? Stop treating me like a child. Well, then stop behaving like one. Now, if you want to tell me what's troubling you, fine. If not, I'm tired, it's late, and I want to go home to bed. Oh. Do you know what's wrong with you? No, what? Nothing. Carrie was afraid that he was getting too old to play romantic character situations, and uh, and he felt Audrey was so much younger than he was, which she was, of course. But uh, so we we changed the script slightly to make her more the aggressor, and him uh, being reluctant to to give himself because he thought he was too old for her. Oh. Hey, knock it off. Now, come on, Reggie, listen to me. Oh, here it comes, the fatherly talk. You forget I'm already a widow. Well, so was Juliet at 15. Mm, but I'm not 15. Well, that's your trouble. You're too old for me. I don't know anyone who's lived in those years who doesn't sort of think of Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn as the most enchanting uh, people. And to be able to have them together in a movie was beyond anybody's dreams. Hasn't it occurred to you that I'm having a tough time keeping my hands off you? Oh, you should see your face. What's the matter with it? It's love, then. Now what's the trouble? I'm not hungry anymore, isn't it glorious? Ah, 
find him. It's all right. Come and look. so bad in this light. Well, why do you think I brought you here? I thought maybe you wanted me to see the kind of work the competition was turning out. Pretty good, huh? Mm. I taught them everything they do. Oh, did they do that kind of thing way back in your day? Sure. How do you think I got here? Not allowed to kiss back, huh? Oh, no. Doctor said it was bad for my thermostat. <laughs> well, when you come on, you come on, don't you? Well, come on. with her curbstone English to keep her in the gutter till the end of her days. Here, yeah, what's that you say? <laughs> in six months, I'll make a duchess of this draggle-tailed gutter snipe. You expect me to get into that? How do you do? How do you do? So you came here to rescue her from worse than death, eh? Cheerio, Eliza. Nah! The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. I think she's got it. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. I could have danced, danced, danced. Oh, oh, Why do you think we're going to? I don't know. How would I know? Because I already know an awful lot of people, and until one of them dies, I couldn't possibly meet anyone else. Well, if anyone goes on the critical list, let me know. Mm. As you can see, she was in serious trouble. But she still found time to enjoy herself. Mrs. Lampert, any morning now, you could wake up dead. Of course, she never had as much fun as her husband. Now, he knew how to relax. You see, it all began when he got off the train. Now there's a relaxed husband. Police probably think I killed him. Instant divorce, you mean? From then on, her life was one round of enjoyment. <laughs> Entertainment. <laughs> Enchantment? <laughs> what are you doing in here? I'm having a nervous breakdown. But her life wasn't always that gay. There were times when she was in dire jeopardy. Hasn't it occurred to you that I'm having a tough time keeping my hands off you? Oh, you should see your face. What's the matter with it? It's lovely. When we played our charade Charles Voss's wife. Now that he's dead, you're their only lead. Mr. Bartholomew, if you're trying to frighten me, you're doing a first-rate job. 